Let's have a take you back to a forgotten time, the year 2000. InSync released their album No Strings Attached. You could rent DVDs by mail with a new thing back then called Netflix. Crazy. And M Night Shyamalan released a superhero movie called Unbreakable. 19 years later, we're finally getting a sequel, but is it worth the trip? Here to tell us from Paul's trip to the movies, we want to welcome Paul McGuire Grimes back to Screen Paul. Hi. How you doing, man? Okay, yeah. so the movie is called Glass. It's called Glass. So this is James McAvoy, Bruce Willis, and Samuel L. Jackson as these three guys who believe they are superheroes but are now forced locked into a mental hospital and it's up to this doctor played by Sarah Paulson to prove to them that they are not. All right, Ooh. so he's pulling a bit on these characters that have been touched uh, on before in other M. Night Shyamalan movies. Do you need to have watched the previous yes. ones? Yes. So do. this is kind of like the end of a trilogy. So okay. Bruce and Samuel L. Jackson were in Unbreakable and then James McAvoy was in Split which is he's got all these multiple personality disorders. Right. So you really need to have seen those two to know what all this backstory is to then go into this one. Is it scary? It's not scary at all. It's a little bit suspenseful, but in the way that kind of M. Night Shyamalan does this thing, but it really is more of a superhero movie. Oh. Really? Okay, now uh, M. Night Shyamalan, and don't give anything away here, I know you won't, but he is known for his what? I didn't see that coming ending that sometimes really, ex ex like they're executed well and other times they fall flat. How's this the, well, this has the twist that you come to expect, yeah. but I really wish that the twist that he gave in this one would have been explored earlier on in the movie. Oh. I think he spends too much time with all these kind of random concepts and ideas that he doesn't fully dissolve. Then we get to the twist, and I'm like, that's really interesting. Why didn't you explore that mm. throughout the rest of this movie? I see. And the actors are all great. James McAvoy is a phenomenal character actor, yes, and you love Samuel L. Jackson. Bruce is great. But it, I was really wondering, where is this all going now? Ticket like, stubs? So I'm giving it three out of five. Okay. I think you really need to be invested in these characters and the other two movies to like this one. Nicole Kidman has a m new movie out called Destroyer, and she looks intense in this. Mm. She is fantastic. So she plays this L.A. detective whose latest body, this John Doe, indicates to her that this gang member from her past is now back, to, back and active on the scene again. Oh, my goodness. Look so, at that hair. I know, right? Like, I forgot it was her half of the time yeah. because she really just gives it this, like, like sunken personality. She's rough around the edges. She's lived a life. Okay, as a movie, lives I, up or no? I think that the movie itself is a big mess. The oh. script goes back and forth so much between the first time that she was undercover investigating them to the current investigation and then this fractured relationship that she has with her daughter that I really had a hard time kind of keeping it all straight. And then this has a twist and a reveal at the end. And by that point, I was like, what did I just see happen? Shoot. Like, what order did this all happen so in? So like, she had an amazing performance, but the movie yes, was a disaster. Yes, and like Sebastian Stan is in it, Tatiana Maslany, Bradley Whitford, all of them are really good and really right. physical performances. But I didn't care about the story itself. Ticket stubs? Two and a half out of five. Nicole has four movies in theaters. I know, and I love uh, Nicole Kidman. She has four movies in theaters right now. Wow. There are others that are better. Okay. Ollie, you got 30 seconds to tell everyone why they should watch Christopher Robin, available on demand at home now. Yes, Christopher Robin is just a delightful movie that's really good for the whole family. I think adults will really get a, really appreciate this idea of when our life isn't going so well. Kids will love seeing Winnie the Pooh and mm -hmm. Tigger and Eeyore. And I think it's, I love seeing them brought to life again. And it just puts a smile on your face. I loved it. Good. I thought it was fabulous. And it's Check National it Winnie the home. Pooh Day. I yes, know. that's why we picked it. You should watch it this weekend. I think yes. that's great. You can stream Thanks, that Paul. anywhere. Thanks, Thank Paul. You. You're Good welcome. job. Uh, you can visit Paul's website. It's called paulstriptothemovies.com. He's got more reviews there. And you can listen to Paul on the Colleen and Bradley Show on My Talk 1071 every Friday. He also has a podcast. It's also called Paul's Trip to the Movies. Ren